you are in my care. I was not in your carriage because the carriage are in my pack and their arms are like me. And you were just bouncing all over my garden, you yes. you tiger. Oh, I, I, I think we're recording. Oh, hello, this is that's on internet. Hello, this is that's on internet. is just fine. And we are reading Old Weather. Someone's fighting. Yeah, I think that's us fighting. Why are we going to be fighting? Wait, because you were just going and saying that I was bouncing on your carrots. Well, let's just have a look, see? Read the illustrator and it's the author. Story by Nick Gummy. This way. My dear breaker. All right, you tiger tigger. Let's stop bouncing and start reading. One afternoon, Eeyore carried a bundle of thistles to the far side of his gloomy place. He set them down, stacked them neatly, sighed, <sighs> then carried them back to their original spot. Eeyore had done the same thing ten times already. It wasn't a very interesting way to spend an afternoon, but then Eeyore had nothing better to do. It sure would be, that's a donkey, it sure would be nice if someone came by to visit. Thought Eeyore, no one will, of course, they never do, and why should they? Just then, Tigger bounced up. Hello everyone. Hello, Eeyore, said Tigger. Oh, hello, Tigger, said Eeyore. This is a surprise. No one ever comes to visit me. Not that I blame them. This is the visit, isn't it? He asked hopefully. Of course, of course it is, said Tigger. Us Tiggers like doing all that never Nibbery type stuff like visiting friends. I'm not in interrupting nibbery stuff. Any, I'm not interrupting anything. I am. I, if you weren't doing anything special, were you? Me? Ask Eeyore. Not really. Just moving this bundle of thistles. Would you like to join me moving thistles? Tigger looked around. Tigger looked at the bundle of thistles and shook his head. Shake Buddy your boy. head. You're not interested. Buddy boy, <laughs> said Tigger, you need to get out and do more things. Tigger paced back and forth, thinking. What you really need, said Tigger, is for it to go bouncing. What's the most fun thing you can do? And I ought to know because bouncing is what tickers do best. <laughs> well, said Eeyore, tickers may be very good at bouncing, but I'm not. Besides, if I try bouncing like you, my tail will come off. It always does, you know? And then where would I be? Tigger continued, pacing back and forth, trying to think of something else Eeyore might go out and do. In the middle of all that pacing, Rabbit came whistling by. <whistles> carrying a brand new shovel and spade. Good afternoon, Eeyore, said Rabbit. Hello, answered Eeyore. Is it a good afternoon? I doubt it. Hey, Rabbit! <laughs> Tigger. Out for your afternoon bounce, Tigger! Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. Out for your afternoon bounce, Tigger? Asked Rabbit. Exactly! And I was just telling my buddy here for he should try it. Especially since he needs to get out and do something. Uh, then he should try gardening, suggested Rabbit. It's quite relaxing, you know? I recommend it highly. Eeyore tried to picture himself in a garden. He imagined holding a spade and digging holes in the earth for planting seeds. But what kind of seeds? This garden? Asked Eeyore. Would it be a vegetable garden? 
Why, yes, of course, replied Rabbit. That's the very best sort of garden there is. Never mind, said Eeyore. I don't like vegetables. Not very much. Not at all, actually. But thanks for the suggestion. I don't blame you, buddy boy. What kind of fun is working in a garden anyway? Oh, really? Snapped Rabbit, throwing down his shovel and stabbing his spade to the ground. And what's so great about your silly bouncing? Tell me that. Does oh, anybody want... Your... Does anybody want to know what I begin Eeyore, but he never finished his sentence. Tigger and Rabbit were so busy arguing with each other, they forgot that Eeyore was even there. Why do you want to start bouncing? Bouncing? Is that fun? Yes. You should be gardening, doing something for nature, helping the crops. Where's Piglet? 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 Oh, there you are. What's on Asked the very small voice. Eeyore, Rabbit, and T Tigger spun around. It was Piglet. Uh, let's ask Piglet, said Rabbit, gritting his teeth. Ask me what Piglet wants to know. Eeyore needs to get out more, and we're trying to find something for him to, to go out and do. Like gardening, stressed Rabbit. Tigger. Or bent. Or bouncing. <laughs> Put in Tigger. Which thing should Eeyore go out and do? Tell me that, Piglet. That's easy. Piglet. That's easy. That's a Piglet. When Pooh and I have nothing special planned, we go on a long explore. That's always fun. I like this idea. Our idea. Tigger. No, nothing to swore, said Tigger. Exactly. He'll get lost besides. That's me, Rabbit. Besides, added Rabbit, it's too late in the day to begin a long explore. It will be dark before E.R. found his way home, Tigger. Exactly, agreed Tigger, bouncing as, bouncing as is much better idea. No gardening, yelled Rabbit. Bouncing, Tigger yelled right back. Piglet sighed. I guess my idea wasn't so good after all, he muttered. Every Eeyore gloomily returned to his bundle of thistles. It saddened him to see his friends fighting, especially over him. I wish I knew how to make everyone happy, thought Eeyore. Just then, Winnie the Pooh arrived. Pooh! 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 Tigger! Tigger! Pooh coming! Tigger's oh, coming! Oh, I'm almost I'm, I'm there. Sorry. I'm coming. You move very slowly when you're such a big bear like me. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, I'm, I'm Pooh. Hello! Oh, hello! What you doing, guys? A, a party, said Pooh, clapping his hands. What fun am I invited? Piglet. It's not a party, Pooh. It's more like a f fight. Tigger. Everyone needs to get out. You need to get out more. And Tigger thinks he should. Uh, that's me. I'm sorry. That's Rabbit. Eeyore needs to get out more. What are you doing? I, I can't switch. I'm <laughs> Eeyore needs to get out more. And Tigger thinks he should go out bouncing. Rabbit thinks he... That is you. <laughs> Rabbit thinks he should start a vegetable garden. And I, I'm just Piglet. As I, this is all Piglet. Go. <laughs> he needs to get out more. And Tigger thinks he should go out bouncing. Rabbit thinks he should start a vegetable garden. I told and Abby and Ia to go out on a long sport. It's no use, Paul. Said Piggy, singing. Sighing. <laughs> go ahead. We just can't agree. Oh my, said Pooh. That doesn't sound like much fun at all. I wonder what Christopher Robin would suggest. Unfortunately, Christopher Robin was not around to suggest anything. So Rabbit, Tigger, and Piglet went right on arguing while Eeyore moved his bundle of thistles for the millionth time. Oh, this fighting sure does make me hungry, said Pooh. 
I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. Eeyore, I don't suppose you'd have a pot of honey hidden somewhere, would you? Otherwise, I think I'll just have to go home and see if I can find a little something in my cupboard. That's it, cried Piggly excitedly. A picnic. Why don't we go on a picnic, Eeyore? That's what would be a great something to do to get out, wouldn't it? Why, Piglet, said Pooh, what a splendid idea. Tigger. Yeah. <laughs> I can fence her the way there. And I could bring fresh vegetables from my garden, said a Rabbit. And I could run home and get a pot of honey for dessert, added Pooh. Piglet. <laughs> Piglet. 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 Well, we are. Well, ear, said Piglet, what do you think it will be? It's near time. It isn't a terrible idea, admitted Eeyore. At least it's better than fighting. Later, Eeyore and his friends met for their picnic. Everyone seemed happy except Piglet. He still wanted to go on a long explore, but Eeyore knew that soon it would be too dark. You know, Eeyore said to everyone, I think we should all go on a short explore when the picnic's over. Piglet, would you and Pooh lead us? That way we don't get lost. Piglet? Sure, said Piglet, grinning. When Eeyore looked around his circle of smiling friends, he couldn't help but smile too, in spite of himself. Well, Piglet, we stop arguing. <laughs> the rabbit and the rabbit, wait. And the tigger. And the tigger. Wait, we're coming back. We're friends again? Always friends, even after an argument, yes? Oh, you're my type of tiger, Tigger. Tiger. Rabbit and Tiger saying, thank you for reading. Thank you for reading. Enjoy um, the reading. Oh, well, this one's fighting. And, and, and you enjoy your vegetables? Yes. <laughs> enjoy your vegetables.